Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood, Sean all here. About to give you another Injustice Gods Among Us video slash live stream. And in this video, we're going to be doing the Rebirth Raven full five battles of standard difficulty. Now, as you guys might have seen from the video showing off Wally West Elite X, Rebirth Raven is no joke. This card is absolutely insane and probably, in my opinion, the best Rebirth character. Why is Raven... In my opinion, the best rebirth character. Well, if you have to ask yourself that, her passive ability basically steals the opponent's power if she has less power than the opponent. So, if you catch an Arkham Origins Batman coming in, tag in, steal the power, insane. It actually helps demote using Killer Frost, because if you're not taking a lot of special damage, Raven can just steal power. You can use somebody that drains power, like for example... Uh, Jessica Cruz and yeah you don't even need Killer Frost with the Rebirth team it's pretty good so if you haven't seen the gameplay of Wally West Elite X and also hitting 1% be sure to check out my previous video on that alright so there are 13 days left in the challenge alright so in the first challenge only bronze characters allowed on your team in the first matchup we have Regime Salmon Grundy New 52 The Flash and Insurgency Green Arrow cards start off at level 1 bronze because the match is 1000 credits Begin. So born on a Monday, even though it's actually Thursday, sword spin on the flash. And everybody easily massacred for the victory in the first fight. 223 XP, double up to 446, 230 credits. In the second matchup, we have Insurgency, Deathstroke, Harley Quinn, and Lex Luthor. Cards gain a level of 2, so the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. Harley Quinn gets massacred. Now he full out of Lex Luthor easily made for the victory in the second fight. Uh, Gambar Doodles, Shono, do you think they will bring the Arkham pack back? I really hope they do because I still need three more Arkham Knight Batmans. 452 XP, 1,250 credits. In the third matchup, we have New 52 Green Lantern, The Flash, and Cyborg. Cards gain a level of 3, so the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. Cyborg gets wiped out, and The Flash gets eliminated for the victory in the third fight. The gear on Deathstroke is Rasha Will Scimitar and two damage items. 456 XP, 270 credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge First Special Attack Disabled. Going up against Regime Catwoman, Nightwing, and Sinestro. Cards gain a level of 4, so the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. Well, 3 million credits will get you 4 Arkham Knight Batman, unless you get lucky and get 2. There is a pack during the Arkham Knight Harley Quinn, I think it's the Knight Ridge Pokey, where I actually pulled 3 Arkham Knight Batman, so yes, it is possible. 462 XP, 290 credits. In the 5th matchup, we have Insurgency, Green Arrow, Green Lantern, and New 52, The Flash. Cards gain a load of 5, so the match is now 5,000 credits. Begin. Green Arrow easily wiped out. We got the Sword Spin and both the Flash and Green Lantern eliminate for the victory in the fifth fight. Yes, you can Your use Rasha Will Scimitar, the Enchantress Gear, and the League of Assassins Death Knives, and you can just obliterate the whole team in one shot. 468 XP, 310 credits. And for anybody curious on how to do that, let's throw in the Flash for the next few fights. So we're going to throw in Green Arrow. Let's throw in Green Lantern, and we're going to throw in The Flash, who is going to be the next card that I promote up. The so Flash. for The Flash, we're going to give him Rosh Ogul Scimitar, we're going to give him the Enchantress Companion card Evolved, and we're going to give him the League of Assassins Adept Knight. The Flash. Well, the sixth matchup, we have Harley Quinn, Regime Solomon Grundy, and Insurgency Deathstroke. Cards gain a level of six, and the match is 5,000 credits. And I'm very happy to report on Android, I do have Begin. the Sorcery Pack. So now I have Kandak, Sheik, Ahmed, Habibi, Raven, and Zatanna. Deathstroke gets Skullfuck for the victory of the sixth fight. 
336 double up to 472 XP, 330 credits. In the seventh matchup, we have New 52 The Flash Cyborg and New 52 Green Lantern. Cards gain a level of seven. Skip the matches five thousand credits. Begin. Thor got the lightning uh. kick. The Flash gets wiped out in one shot. Cyborg also eliminated, and Green Lantern will get Skullfark for the victory in the seventh fight. Now to actually take Rebirth Wally West up from Elite. 2 to Elite X, you need a total of 1.08 million credits. Just think of it like the Dawn of Justice Batman from Normal 2 Elite 7 back in the day. So you need 1.08 million of natural credits if you're buying 8 promotions on top of the 2 you already have if you got 1% in the season. 478 XP, 350 credits. In the 8th matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration going up against Sinestro, Regime Catwoman, and Insurgency Green Arrow. Cards gain a level of 8, so the match is 5,000 credits. Begin. Turn off the lightning kick on Sinestro. Blocking still gets rid of him. Green Arrow eliminated. Catwoman will get Skullfuck. For the victory, a fight. Four hundred and eighty two XP, three energy cards, three hundred and seventy credits. In the ninth matchup we have Nightwing, Insurgency, Deathstroke, and Harley Quinn. Cards again a level of nine. Skip the matches now ten thousand credits. Begin. Coming off the lightning kick on Nightwing. Deathstroke gets eliminated, and Harley Quinn will get skull fought for the victory in the ninth fight. I think that cyborg's breath coming out of the Flash. 244 XP, double up to 488, 390 credits. In the 10th matchup, we have Cyborg, Lex Luthor, and The Flash. Cards again a level of 10, so the match is 10,000 credits. Begin. Flash gets wiped out, Lex Luthor will get Skullfuck for the victory in the top five. Four hundred and ninety-four XP, four hundred and ten credits. In the eleventh matchup we have Regime Solomon Grundy, Sinestro, and Green Lantern. Cards gain a level of eleven, so the match is ten thousand credits. Begin. Uh. Born on a Monday, kicked out on a Thursday, Green Lantern eliminated, and Sinestro will get Skullfuck for the victory. 498 XP, 430 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Chaos going up against Insurgency Deathstroke, Insurgency Green Arrow, and Regime Catwoman. Cards getting a level of 12, so the match is 10,000 credits. Begin. And Green Arrow will get Skullfuck for the easy victory in the 12th fight. 504 XP, 2,950 credits. So the Rebirth Raven Challenge Battle 1 on standard difficulty is completed, and in the second challenge, Sheikh and Habibi must be on your team. Luckily we have two gold versions so we can use Black Adam in the third battle. So we're going to start off with Kandak Sheikh and Habibi. Don't spam my twit, my Instagram. We've got Batman Returns Catwoman and Arkham Knight Batman. Catwoman. Get out of here. All right, so we're going to use Rasha Bull Scimitar. We're going to use the Enchantress Companion card Evolved, and we're going to use the League of Assassins and Death Knight. Let's actually throw Batgirl in, so we can really have some fun with this. We obviously cannot use Black the uh, League of Assassins and Death Knight, so we're going to have to use the Fourth World Mace to get area damage off special, too. Black Adam. So in the first matchup, we have Regime Catwoman, New 52 The Flash, and New 52 Green Lantern. This is massive overkill. Cards start off at level 11 bronze, for the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. So we're going to have to shoot from the Habibi Black Magic. And the Flash gets Skullfuck for the victory in the first fight. 
498 XP, 240 credit. In the second matchup, we have Regime, Salmon, Grundy, Sinestro, and Cyborg. Cards are getting a level at 12, so the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. We're going to have to shoot the Habibi Black Magic. Will the third hit hit on somebody else? No, it does not. Ah. Cyborg gets Skullfuck, and we're going to bitch slap Sinestro for the victory in the second fight. Not quite as effective as using uh, the Flash, but we make it work. 504 XP, 260 credits. In the third matchup, we have Insurgency Deathstroke, Lex Luthor, and Insurgency Green Arrow. Cards are getting a level of 13, so the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. Yeah. Easy game, and Lex Luthor gets Skull Fox for the victory in the third fight. Look at that 74 damage. Massive overkill, boys. 508 XP, 280 credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Dampening Field going up against Harley Quinn, The Flash, and Nightwing. Cards gain a level of 14, so the match is 1,000 credits. Begin. Ah. The Kendak Black Magic. Not gonna matter, even though she blocks. Flash gets wiped out. Metwing will get Skullfark for the victory in the fourth fight. 514 XP, 300 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Regime Catwoman, Regime Solomon Grundy, and Green Lantern. Cards gain a level of 15, so the match is now 5,000 credits. Now the dream here would be to have Solomon Grundy come in Begin. so he takes two shots versus one. Beautiful. Look at that damage. And down goes Green Lantern for the victory in the fifth fight. We had pizza at work today. They ordered Sorrento's for us. Delicious. I had like four pieces on lunch and then I had three pieces before I left. 520 XP, 320 credits. In the sixth matchup, we have Lex Luthor, Insurgency, Deathstroke, and Cyborg. Cards gain a level of 16, so the match is 5,000 credits. And anybody on DC Legends, how many fragments did you actually pull from that? I got 75, 25, 50, and 50 from that, so my Cyborg is actually legendary one spot. And Deathstroke gets Skullfark for the victory in the sixth fight. 524 XP, 4,340 credits. In the seventh matchup, we have the Flash, Harley Quinn, and Sinestro. Cards gain a level of 17, so the match is 5,000 credits. Begin. Were you not signed ah. into the WBA ID account, Death Slayer? And that's why no progress got saved? Or did you hit no? If you hit no to replace the file, it actually overwrite your file. So you always want to make sure you hit yes, Death Slayer. I would send a ticket in on that just in case. 530 XP, 360 credits. Yeah, Pizza is actually pretty good. I love their breadsticks. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Power Surge going up against Nightwing, New 52, Green Lantern, and Regime Catwoman. Cards are getting a level of 18. So the match is 5,000 credits. I mean, my all-time favorite pizza's got to be Jets Pizza. I don't know if a lot of people have that. I know Michigan does, but Jets Pizza is amazing. Pizza Hut's probably right up there too. We also have Clover Leaf and Buddies that are also really good too in Michigan. Um, yeah, but as far as the chains, I do like Pizza Hut a little bit better than Domino's, but Papa John's is probably better than both of them. 534 XP, 380 credits. Although Pizza Hut does have a pretty good stuffed crust. My problem is they always make the pizza thinner. In the ninth matchup, we have Catwoman, Insurgency, Deathstroke, and Cyborg. Cards are getting a level of 19. The left card is silver, and the right card has a promotion. Let's get the match is now 10,000 credits. Begin. I mean, fair warning, Jets Pizza is really greasy, but it's really good. As Deathstroke gets Skullfuck for the victory. In the ninth fight. 270 double up to 540 XP, 400 credits. In the tenth matchup, we have Regime Doomsday, Sinestro, and Lex Luthor. The cards gain a level of 20, so the match is 10,000 credits. Begin. Ah! 
then Sinestro gets skull fucked for the victory in the tap fight. As Sheikh Ahmed Habibi gets knocked out, the Enchantress gear is so fun. I think the Enchantress gear is one of my funnest gear items, although I really do like the Scarecrow mask in defense. 546 XP, 420 credits. Yes, I actually did have their Hershey's uh, cookie once. It's actually really good. They make this big, it's like a small pizza into a cookie. Yeah, it's definitely worth trying out. In the 11th matchup, we have Wonder Woman, Regime Solomon Grundy, and Hartley Quinn. Cards are getting a level of 21. The right card gains a promotion to Elite 2. Let's get the matches. 10,000 credits. Um, those of you guys that are trying to get Wally West from the pack, I did open up 25... Er, yeah, 25 packs, and I got two of them all together. So, I think it's about on par with the original Dawn of Justice pack at about 10%. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's about what it is. I did get a couple Red Suns from that pack, so I might even try airplane in it. If I get Red Suns, I might just keep them. 550 XP, 440 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Radiation. Going up against Green Arrow, New 52, Green Lantern, and Nightfall Bay. Cards getting a level of 22. The right card loses promotions, but turns silver. So the match is 10,000 credits. Begin. So we've got the Shikamit Habibi Black Magic, as we've been doing, and just roasting everybody. And Bane, is he going to get so fucked? No, he's not. we got a bitch slap. I'm for the victory in the 12th fight. So Marvel DC got it in the 6th or 7th pack. Who was it that opened up like 10 of them and got like 3 of them? That was pretty cool. 556 XP, 460 crack. So the Rebirth Raven Challenge Battle 2 on standard difficulty is completed. Now we have a bronze booster pack. Inside we receive a Sinestro Thundering Dropkick, which is Nightfall Bane's special 2 move, and Turbine Smash, which is Green Lantern's special 1 move. I have not seen Red Sun Green Lantern from the uh, Rebirth Wally West, but I am proud to announce that you can get Arkham Knight Harley Quinn out of that pack. So if you're looking to get Arkham Knight Harley Quinn, try your luck on the pack. You might be able to get it. And it's also a way you can save credit, so it's worth picking up if you get that card instead of Wally West and you have the credits to spend. So the third challenge, only bronze and silver characters are on your team, and because we did not use silver black Adam, we're going to start off with it. So we're going to use him. We're going to use... You can't use Lex Luthor. And I think it's Harley Quinn that's also next. So we're going to use double Nightwing. So shut up with Habibi. We're going to throw some damage gear on him. We're just going to roast these guys early. Black Adam. So in the first matchup, we have Nightfall Bane, Deathstroke, and Insurgency Harley Quinn. Cards start off at level 1 silver. So the match is 5,000 credits. Begin. Yeah, I think I pulled like two or three Arkham Knight Harley Quinns on that pack too. So... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not in the Challenge Booster Packs, Arkham Knight Harley Quinn. I could be wrong on that. So, if you need the card, try some packs out. You never know. 550 XP, 250 credits. Um, I think it's support at WBGames.com, Desler. You can also try to look for that on the forums, too. So, on the second matchup, we have Regime Nightwing, the Joker, and Regime Doomsday. Cards getting a level of 2. Let's get the matches 5,000 credits. In my opinion, the absolute best card to probably break through first is either Deathstroke or Wonder Woman. Are like the most useful ones. Obviously, Green Lantern and Black Adam are right up there, but we know how much damage Wonder Woman can do with three blocks. And Cyborg generates a ton of power, but Deathstroke has the highest base damage out of the silver cards. Even higher than Black Adam. 556 XP, 270 credits. On the third matchup, we have Regime Flash, Wonder Woman, and Regime Cyborg. Cards gain a level of 3, so the match is 5,000 credits. Although I have seen some people that have upgraded the Flash already. Begin. <laughs> that was Bomb Diffusing Off. Yep, I thought that was him. I couldn't remember who was doing it last night, but I remember somebody talking about it. So, very cool on that. Wonder Woman gets bitch slapped. Cyborg trying to fight for his life and gets put out like a nigger on 8 Mile. What a victory in the third fight. 560 XP, 290 credits. 
In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Second Special Attack Disabled, going up against Insurgency Lex Luthor, Catwoman, and Destro. Cards again a level of four, so the match is 5,000 credits. Begin. <laughs> well, Lex Luthor gets wiped out, Catwoman comes in. We're gonna shock the hell out of Destro for the victory of the fight. No special two necessary because we can do it off special one. 566 XP, 300 attack credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Solomon Grundy, Regime Bane, and Green Arrow. Cards are getting a little of five, so the match is now 10,000 credits. Begin. So we're going to shock the hell out of Solomon Grundy with the Arabian Sand Shot. Beautiful to get rid of him easily. The Bane comes in, gets Big Slap, blocked, is going to save him. Green Arrow comes in. And we're going to bitch slap Green Arrow in one shot for the victory in the fifth fight. 572 XP, 330 credits. We're going to make a roster change. We're going to throw in Deathstroke. And let's throw in Silver Green Arrow. And let's throw in New 52 Green Lantern. Deathstroke. So we're going to give Deathstroke the standard damage gear. Rosh Ogul, Scimitar, Blade of the War God, and Prometheus Lost. Well, the sixth matchup, we have Wonder Woman, Regime Flash, and Regime Doomsday. Hard to get a level of six, because the match is 10,000 credits. Begin. <laughs> Wonder Woman gets slashed out, flashes it. She's gonna flash the flash. Deathstroke almost at three bucks. Then we got the eye for an eye and that Doomsday Eliminated with the first super move of the game. Twenty six thousand seven hundred ninety six damage for the victory of six flat. Two hundred eighty eight double up to five hundred seventy six at six thousand three hundred fifty credits. For the seventh matchup, we have the Joker, Regime Nightwing, and Insurgency Harley Quinn. Cards gain a level of seven. Let's get the matches 10,000 credits. Begin. One shot on the Joker gets rid of it. Nightwing comes in. Two shots even with half damage wipes him out. Harley Quinn gets shot out for the victory in the seventh fight. 582 XP, 370 credits. In the 8th matchup, we have Challenge Power Surge going up against Deathstroke, Nightfall Bane, and Catwoman. Cards gain a level of 8, so the match is 10,000 credits. Begin. So Deathstroke gets eliminated, Catwoman is in. We're gonna get rid of Catwoman. Nightfall Bane gets slashed out in one hit for the victory in the 8th fight. 586 XP, 390 credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Green Arrow, Regime Doomsday, and Insurgency Lex Luthor. Cards gain a level of 9. The middle card gains a promotion to Elite 1. Let's get the matches now. 15,000 credits. Begin. 2506. We're going to shoot up Lex Luthor. Point blank in midair. Look at that sword. Here. Doomsday comes in. Doomsday gets slashed out in three hits for the victory in the ninth fight. 592 XP, 410 credits. In the 10th matchup, we have Regime Green Lantern, Deathstroke, and Regime Cyborg. Cards gain a level of 10, so the match is 15,000 credits. Begin. Green Lantern slash out in one hit. Deathstroke is in. Deathstroke takes two hits and a point blank in midair. Cyborg blocking. Still not enough to save him for the victory in the 10th fight. 598 XP, 430 credits. So now we have to make a roster change for the final two fights. Let's use Double Banes, and we're going to use Green Lantern. One of the reasons I like Green Lantern is he does Green have Lantern. probably the best passive in the Silver Division with 25% power generation. And that's a really powerful ability Green when Lantern. you combine it with Cyborg and Wonder Woman. You can actually have a powerhouse team even with two mid-range players. In the 11th matchup, we have Regime Sinestro, the Joker, and Regime Flash. Cards gain a level at 11, so the match is 15,000 credits. 
begin. <laughs> Nestro bash out and yeah, shove my big green penis right in the Joker's back. Wakey wakey! And the Flash gets bashed out for the victory in the 11th fight. 602 XP, 450 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Life Drain going up against Insurgency, Harley Quinn, Catwoman, and Green Arrow. Cards gain a level of 12, so the match is 15,000 credits. Begin. <laughs> Harley Quinn is wiped out. Catwoman comes in. Now we're going to use the worst level 2 move in the game. Green Lan Arrow gets eliminated for the victory in the 12th fight. 608 XP, 470 credits. So the Rebirth Raven Challenge Battle 3 on standard difficulty is completed, and we will receive a whopping 15,000 credits, putting us at 1.875 million. So the fourth challenge, Harley Quinn must be on your team, and there's like six variants of Harley Quinn. For anybody curious, the Harley Quinns that you can use, regular Harley Quinn, animated Harley Quinn, Arkham Harley Quinn, Arkham Knight Harley Quinn, Insurgency Harley Quinn, and Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, so there are six variants all together. So we're going to start off with... Let's start off with Animated Harley Quinn. Let's throw in Insurgency Harley Quinn. Actually, fuck that. Let's throw in Rebirth Wally West. i got to go to the W's. Let's throw him in. And let's throw in Rebirth Jessica Cruz. Let's have some fun in the first five matches of the fourth battle. Green Lantern. So with Reaper's Jessica Cruz, we're going to give her the Gauntlets of Azrael. We're going to give her Rosh Al Ghul Scimitar. And we're going to give her a basic damage gear item. Now, I've not tested between a basic damage gear item and the Cloak of Destiny, or with, for example, a Lexcorp helmet, something that gives more crit damage. But that would be an interesting test, even though 50% basic damage can be Green really Lantern. good. Green Lantern. So in the first matchup, we have Deathstroke, Regime Flash, and Insurgency Harley Quinn. Cards start off at level 11 silver, so the match is 5,000 credits. Are we going to be able to finish a combo under? Thank you, Kamakes12, for the follow on Twitch. Welcome to God of Masters Club. What the fuck? That just destroyed somebody else. We're going to have to be where my power and Harley Quinn eliminated. Eighteen thousand six hundred and seventy-five damage for the victory in the first fight. Three thousand double up to six thousand and thirty-two X. Pay two hundred and sixty crap. In the second matchup, we have Green Arrow, Wonder Woman, and Regime Nightwing. Cards gain two levels of thirteen, so the match is five thousand credits. So yes, the combo under can knock out multiple opponents, which is pretty badass. <laughs> Nightwing gets massacred. We're going to be getting the hang of this, and Wonder Woman gets eliminated for the victory in the second fight. And keep in mind, this is an unpromoted Jessica Cruz. This combination is devastating at Elite 7 with max augments and even at Elite X. The so Rebirth Wally West gains a level to 10, 6,084 XP, 280 credits. In the third matchup, we have the Joker, Solomon Grundy, and Regime Bane. The cards are level 14, so the match is 5,000 credits. Now keep in mind, when the combo ender goes off, you actually gain health. So this is a good example with the Joker doing like 25% damage to Jessica Cruz, 75-33. Now watch if we can get a combo of how much health Jessica Cruz is going to get back. Here we go. Now it didn't go as much as I thought. Here we go. And we got another Beware My Power, Solomon Grundy Eliminate. Eighteen thousand six hundred and seventy-five damage for the victory in the third fight. Six thousand one hundred thirty-six XP, three hundred credits. Or in the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Power Surge. Going up against Regime Green Lantern, Insurgency Lex Luthor, and Nightfall Bay. Cards gain a level of 15. So the match is 5,000 credits. 
begin. So yeah, if you knock out the opponent before the rain hits, you're gonna hit somebody else too. Okay, I broke off another beware my power bane eliminated. Eighteen thousand six hundred and seventy-five damage for the victory in the fourth fight. Six thousand one hundred eighty-eight XP, three hundred twenty credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Regime Sinestro, Regime Cyborg, and Catwoman. Cards gain a level of six teams. Look at the matches now: ten thousand credits. Begin. Yes, you have to get the arrows to hit on the second opponent for, to hit on somebody else, but you can still do massive damage, as you can see right there. Now we got another Beware My Power, Catwoman Eliminated. So yes, while Jessica Cruz is a strong character, I assume that Raven is going to be even more annoying. 18,675 damage for the victor. 6,240 XP, 340 credits. So we're going to make a roster change. We're going to throw in one of our favorites. We're going to put in Arkham Knight Batman. Let's throw in a couple more Harley Quinns. Let's throw in Arkham Knight Harley Quinn. Let's throw in Hot Girl. Batman. So for Arkham Knight Batman, we are going to use Enchantress Companion of All, the League of Assassins, Death Knights, and the Ibistic. Batman. So in the sixth matchup, we have Regime Doomsday, Deathstroke, and Insurgency Harley Quinn. Hard to get a level of 17. So the match is 10,000 crap. Yeah, and when you use that with Jessica Cruz, you gain a lot of health, too. So it's a really powerful cutback mechanic, and it does give the Rebirth team a good way to heal. Outside of using Fourth World on Rebirth Raven, which is absolutely insane when she's got Fourth World, because you're going to get a lot of healing out of her. You can even use it on LexCorp for special twos. There's no real wrong way to do it. 628 XP, 8,360 credits. In the 7th matchup, we have Regime Sinestro, Insurgency Lex Luthor, and Sheik Ahmed Habibi. Cards again a level of 18. So the match is 10,000 credits. Begin. And she just let Habibi hit right in the deck for the victory in the second fight. 634 XP, 380 credits. In the 8th matchup, we have Challenge 2nd Special Attack Disabled, going up against Green Arrow, Nightfall Bane, and Regime Doomsday. Cards getting a level of 19, so the match is 10,000 credits. Begin. Green Arrow eliminated. And Doomsday gets hit right in the deck for the victory in the 8th fight. 638 XP, 400 credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Solomon Grundy, the Joker, and Insurgency Harley Quinn. Cards gain a level of 20. The outer cards have promotions. So the match is now 15,000 credits. Begin. Solomon Grundy takes a bunch of shots. Joker does not get eliminated. He's gonna get skull -tied. And Harley Quinn gets slapped right in the chip in the tit for the victory in the ninth fight. 644 XP, 420 credits. In the 10th matchup, we have Regime Green Lantern, Regime Bane, and Destro. Cards gain a level of 21, so the match is 15,000 credits. Begin. Well, we missed the crit, but he's got no crit. So that Green Lantern eliminated. Bane gets wiped out. Deathstroke also eliminated for the victory in the 10th fight. And we get a Regime Bane whoop de doo day. 650 XP, 440 credits. We're going to make another roster change. Let's throw in Dawn of Justice, Batman. Throwing Red Sun Batman. 
And we need another Harley Quinn. Let's throw in Grot. So Dawn of Justice Batman does have a little bit more trouble compared to Arkham Knight Batman, but we can probably still make it work. So we're going to use the Enchantress gear and the Ibis. Actually, no, we got to use the League of Assassins and Death Knives. That's right. Batman. All right, so in the 11th matchup, we have Wonder Woman, Regime Cyborg, and Regime Nightwing. Cards again a level of 22. So got the match is 15,000 cards. Begin. Wonder Woman gets eliminated. <laughs> Cyborg also eliminated. Nightwing will get Skullfire for the victory in the 11th fight. Six hundred and fifty-four XP, four hundred and sixty credits. In the twelfth matchup, we have Challenge Life Drain going up against Regime Flash, Catwoman, and Regime Doomsday. The cards remain at level twenty-two. So the match is fifteen thousand credits. Begin. Flash blocking will keep him alive momentarily. Looks like the area damage still doing work. Catwoman gets stealth lock. Doomsday in with a little bit of health, and we slap him out for the victory in the 12th fight. 660 XP, 480 credits. So the Rebirth Raven Challenge Battle 4 on standard difficulty is completed. And now we have a silver booster pack. Inside we receive a Regime Bane, Swordsman, which is Insurgency Deathstrokes. Special one move, an anti-life equation, which is an energy boost to all characters. So on the fifth challenge, Lex Luthor must be on your team. And there's only three variants of Lex Luthor, so we're going to have to recharge twice. Now, the thing I don't like about that is that normally I use Lex Luthor in a first battle on Nightmare. However, with the new promotion cap of Elite X, that's a little bit less important. We're going to throw in Martian Manhunter, and let's throw in Blackest Knight Martian Manhunter. Martian well. Manhunter. So for Martian Manhunter, we are going to give him the Cloak of Destiny, the Ibis Stick, and the League of Assassins and Death Knights. Looks really weird, but you get a lot Martian of damage Manhunter. on Special 1 when you hit off a crit. So in the first matchup, we have Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn, Regime Green Lantern, and Solomon Grundy. The cards start off at level 21 gold and silver. Let's get the matches, 10,000 credits. Thank you, the bomb without a B12, for the follow on Twitch. Welcome to God of Assholes Club. Begin. Alright, so the thing with Mark and Manhunter is he does have a stun on combo, here, so he does make pretty good use of the cloak of Destiny. We're already at two bars because of the legal assassin that was in the end, but now at three bars. Let's just get off a phase assault. This will do a lot of damage to everybody regardless. So that pretty much kills Green Lantern. And we're going to go off the Hentai Tentacles on Solid Grundy and get rid of him for the victory in the first fight. Six hundred and fifty-four XP, two hundred and seventy credits. In the second matchup, we have Red Sun, Wonder Woman, Nightfall, Bane, and Catwoman. Cards getting a level of twenty-two. So the match is ten thousand credits. Begin. Well, Red Sun Green Lantern is probably the most defensive Green Lantern in the game and the most defensive passer in the game, so. That's not entirely true, Aaron. Like, if you have, if you're using the Green Lantern synergy with Jessica Cruz, you would definitely put the same setup I do on Red Sun Green Lantern. Probably two-piece Lex Corp with the uh, Scarecrow Mask, or you could just run the uh, Fourth World. Although, if you're running Green Lantern synergy, that's pretty bad. But yeah, honestly, Rebirth is not a defensive card. Uh, Red Sun Green Lantern is definitely a defensive card. 660 XP, 290 credits. In the third matchup, we have Suicide Squad, The Joker, Unhinged, Regime Flash, and Regime Sinestro. Cards again a level of 23. Skip the matches, 10,000 credits. And just like John Stewart, Green Lantern is also labeled as a defensive card because of the emergency barrier passive, which is actually a, one of the better uh, Green Lantern passives outside of Regime. Like, all the other Green Lantern passives suck except for themselves. And we're going to have the phase assault blocking. Will it save Sinestro? No, it will not for the victory in the third fight. Six 
664 XP, 310 credits. All right. So we're going to make a roster change. Coat down the wrong throat sucks. Let's throw in Killer Frost. Let's throw in Lobo. And we need a Lex Luthor Enthuse Insurgency. Killer Frost. So Killer Frost can pull out the same mumbo jumbo that Rebirth Jessica Cruz can, although she is a little bit slower. Like Raven does Killer it better Frost. than Killer Frost. <coughs> but a little bit faster of a light attack. So in the fourth matchup we have Challenge Chaos. Going up against 600 Wonder Woman, Regime Cyborg, and Green Arrow. Cards again a level of 24. So the match is 10,000 credits. Begin. So, 600 Wonder Woman eliminated. Green Arrow gets eliminated. We're going to go the Cold as Ice to prevent swapping out. And Cyborg eliminated for the victory in the fourth fight. Lesson learned, don't lay back when you're drinking Coke because you can get it down the wrong pipe. And that's why I was choking. 670 XP, 330 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Blackest Knight, Hot Girl, The Joker, and Regime Flash. Cards get a level of 25, so the match is 15,000 credits. Is it worth getting the Gauntlets of Azrael? If you plan on using Rebirth Jessica Cruz, yeah. If you plan on playing Survivor Mode and a competitive uh, play, like, if you plan on trying to win, like, fights 9 and 10 with no problem, yes, the Gauntlets of Azrael are really good. I actually use the Gauntlets of Azrael on Raven. Like, the gear I use is the Gauntlets of Azrael, the Rashogul Scimitarsia, both Power Drain, and healing your team. And then just a basic damage gear so you heal for more. Yes, now it is situational. Like, if you don't plan on using the cards with two or three hit combo, you don't need it. In a lot of cases, you don't need it anyways, but Rebirth Jessica Cruz has like a five hit light combo ender. Amazing gear item on her. I highly recommend picking it up. And it's not like it's hard getting... 200,000 multiplayer anyways. I will be getting that gear item on Android, so probably I'll be doing some work streams over the next couple of days. And I'll do some multiplayer farming to get that gear. 676 XP, 350 credits. At the sixth matchup, we have Hot Girl Static and Regime Green Lantern. Cards get a level of 26, and the match is 15,000 credits. But I mean, it's just like the Cloak of Destiny. It's a situational gear item. Like, it's a lot less situational than the Imbestick and the League of Assassin and Death Knights, which can be good on almost everybody. There are obviously a couple of exceptions. Like, you don't want to use special ones on Ares if you can avoid it, because the Godsmack is such a powerful special tumor with the unblockable aspect. But on a lot of other characters, you can get away with it. So, yeah. The Gauntlets of Azure are situational, the Cloak of Destiny is a little bit less situational, and League of Assassin, Death Knights, and Imbestick are just really good. 680 XP, 370 credits. Although the League of Assassin and Death Knives with the two-piece fourth world used to be insane back in the day because you do a lot of area damage and you'd heal like crazy. A lot of people used to use two-piece fourth world with the Imbestick, and that was deemed too powerful. Like, a lot of the Blackest Knight Martian Manhunters had the Imbasic, the Fourth World chest plate, and the helmet. They didn't even use the mace. They changed it to the three-piece set because nobody was using the mace. Like, people do use the gloves because you do get a heal from the LexCorp. It's not as insane as it used to be. Like, LexCorp healing used to be more ridiculous than Fourth World unless it didn't go off. It went off like 60% of the time, but when it went off, feels bad, man. All right, we're going to throw in Regime Killer Frost. Let's throw in Crypto Lex Luthor. And just to kind of show you the light combos with Raven, Raven. we're going to do the same gear setup. We're going to use Rashogul Ghost Scimitar, the Gauntlets of Azrael, and we're going to use the Blade of the War God. Raven. Again, I haven't tested it with somebody with max crit augments to deem is it better to use the gauntlet, the a basic damage gear item or the Cloak of Destiny. Because you can get some synergy with the Cloak of Destiny with stuns. Like, for example... If you're using Raven and Justice 2 Superman and Arkham Knight Batman, or Killer Frost for that matter, you have a big stun window. So in the seventh matchup, you have Blackest Knight, Doomsday, Aquaman, and Insurgency Lex Luthor. Cards get a level of 27, so the match is 15,000 credits. Now on somebody like Rebirth Jessica Cruz, that is a lot harder 
of a question because the Cloak of Destiny does give you more damage on stuff. And Jessica Cruz, when the Kilowog hits, can't stuff. So who do you want to use? That's a real good question. I can see that Raven is kind of a slower attacker, but not as slow as Killer Frost. And it's really advantageous with a two hit combo, and you really didn't get to see it in action, but yeah. When you get that heal, it does hit on the entire team 95% of the time maxed out, so you're almost always going to guarantee at least one hit. 686 XP, 390 credits. I actually just evolved my uh, bone spikes on my Android account. I think it's like plus one, so I'm really excited to use that. In the 8th matchup, we have Challenge Countdown going up against Ares, Bane, and the Joker. Cards get a level of 28. I don't know for how long the middle card has been gold. Let's go to the match. It's 15,000 credits. The Gauntlets would be good on Deadshot because it is a three-hit combo. Why don't we can actually try it out on Deadshot. You guys can see it for yourself. Four fights, 10 through 12. We'll throw in, like, Mortal Kombat Scorpion in case Deadshot can't have it. We're going to get off the Deadly Sin and get rid of the Joker. Yeah, with Deadshot, I kind of gear him up with just Rasha Wills and basic damage. I don't even bother with the uh, Gauntlets of Azrael because of Harley Quinn being able to heal. When you have, like, a direct healer like Harley Quinn, you don't need Gauntlets of Azrael. Personal opinion, though. You just need more damage on Deadshot. 690 XP, 12,410 credits. But I am really excited to be able to get the Gauntlets of Azrael. I think it will be really good for my Android account. Because at low waves of survival, it's just a pain in the ass. And probably who I would take out would be the Joker. Like, I'd probably save him for reserve rounds, and I'd throw Raven in. Really excited for that. So in the ninth matchup, we have Amikami, Catwoman, Sheik Ahmed Habibi, and Regime Sinestro. The cards lose 8 levels, but gain a promotion to 20 Elite 1. Let's get the matches now. 20,000 credits. Begin. <laughs> So Amikami Catwoman gets eliminated. We're going to go off the Twilight's end. If the first hit connects, yes it will. So this one will hit and cause some damage. Or it'll just kill the opponent for the victory in the ninth fight. You are a fool. 696 XP, 430 credits. All right, so we're going to make a roster change. Let's throw in dead shots because you guys are curious about the Gauntlets of Azrael. So we're going to use... Shit, did I use them somewhere already? No, I did not. I hate when it does that. So we're going to use Deadshot and just for security reasons, we're going to throw in Mortal Kombat Scorpion. Deadshot. So Deadshot, we're going to give him Rasha Will Scimitar. <coughs> and let's you let's use the Gauntlets of Azrael. Like I don't like using them on Deadshot, but we are going to show it off because you guys are wondering if the Gauntlets of Azrael are good on Deadshot. So let's, Deadshot. let's show that for you guys. So Scorpion, Scorpion. we're going to give some basic damage here. And we're going to give him the Promethean Longsword as well. Scorpion. What gear does Deadshot have? Okay, he's got that one. So on the 10th matchup, we have Many Human of Flash, Balls of Steel, General Zod, and Wonder Woman. The cards remain at level 20, so the match is 20,000 credits. Begin. Is it me, or did we have, like, no generic gold breakthroughs last week? So you can see the healing on Deadshot. 27, 48, and 3 hits. Pretty powerful. And this is an unpromoted dead shot, by the way. And he gets the stuck. See, a dead shot can do some work. Down goes balls to a general guy. What about the lock and key? That should be enough to deal with Wonder Woman. Yes, it is. off the target acquired on Medium the Flash and get rid of him for the victory in the 10th fight. 702 XP, 450 credits. In the 11th matchup, we have Injustice 2 Superman, Animated Harley Quinn, and Solomon Grundy. Cards again a level of 21 Elite 1. Skip the matches, 20,000 credits. Begin. Uh. 
And also keep in mind with the Rasho Glow Scimitar, you can keep people power drained really easily. You can see how he's basically shutting down Injustice 2 Superman. Like, when somebody's using Fourth World, only the deflected attacks will not work. Putting off the Assassin's Code, animated Harley Quinn eliminated. Look at that latex getting ripped up. So we got Salmon Grundy in by himself. And Salmon Grundy eliminated for the victory in the left fight. So what do you guys think about uh, the gear setup with Deadshot? You think it's pretty good for even an unpromoted card? 706 XP, 470 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Super Move Disabled, going up against Teen Titan Cyborg, Red Sun Batman, and Insurgency Harley Quinn. Cards are getting a level of 22, so the match is 20,000 credits. Begin. Now, obviously, the stuff works better with Augments, which is a no-brainer, because if you crit, you heal for more. So it has a double positive. We're gonna go off the lock and key on Red Sun Batman. That is enough to wipe him out. Cyborg might get eliminated as well. Yes, he does. And Harley Quinn gets massacred for the victory in the 12th fight. 712 XP, 490 credits. Alright, so for the final roster change, we have to use Lex Luthor. Let us throw in Doomsday and Doomsday. Doomsday. So we're going to give Doomsday the Cloak of Destiny. And let's give them two damage items. Let's watch them rip these guys apart. Doomsday. Now look at the difference in stats between Doomsday and Blackest Night Doomsday. Yet Doomsday has a much better passive. Even though Blackest Night Doomsday does more special damage. So in the 13th matchup, we have Dawn of Justice, Wonder Woman, Batgirl, and Regime Doomsday. Hard to get a level of 23, so the match is 20,000 credits. You cannot host people while you're streaming. You have to stop your stream in order to host. Dawn of Justice, Wonder Woman gets massacred. You get more health because of Crypto Lex Luthor. That's why we're dealing for almost 50,000. And down goes Doomsday for the victory. 716 XP, 510 credits. And just for shits and giggles, let's throw in Arkham Harley Quinn. I want to see how much health Doomsday can actually heal. So let's throw in Arkham Harley Quinn and on Doomsday. Let's give him the fourth world chest plate. Let's give him the Gauntlets of Azure, which you do give 30% max health. And let's give him the Batmobile. I don't have it maxed out, but it is the next highest health gear item. Unless Superman's is more. I think Superman is 22. Yes, it is. So that would actually be more at the moment. Doomsday. Alright, so in the 14th matchup, we have the Killing Joke Joker, Red Sun, Deathstroke, and Zatat. Cards again a level of 24 Elite 1. So the match is 20,000 crap. Begin. <laughs> 94,000 health field. That's ridiculous. Doomsday almost has 200,000 health at Down goes Destro. Katana in at two bar. Terra card does like no damage. And Zatanna gets eliminated for the victory in the 14th fight. So, and that's unaugmented too. I imagine augmented you can get over 100,000 health. 722 XP, 530 credits. So in the 15th matchup, we have the Mini Boss Rebirth Raven, Overpower Rebirth Raven, and Sway here to your team. Card is level 30, Elite 1, 14,000 damage, 25,000 health. This got the match is 30,000 credits. So we're going to sit here and drink some Coke for a minute, and I'm going to read chat. So leave some messages. Why well, do I have a feeling that in Nightmare Mode it'll be Rebirth Raven and Prime Raven? It could be that. It could also be Teen Titans Raven. I love the gear set with Deadshot. Are you talking about the one with Rasha Rose, Gauntlets of Azrael, and a basic damage item? 
You can also use the Lex Corp chest plate to also give you healing. Because that would also give you 70% crit on basic attacks. The Lex Corp chest plate might actually be better if you don't have a lot of crit chance. Because that might this actually be. Because no you get 150% more damage. That would actually be interesting to test out. Let's drink some more coke. I don't think he's beat up enough yet. We haven't had a gold breakthrough in like three days. Well, I've seen bronze quite a bit and now I'm seeing silver, so it should be pretty interesting. I think it's pretty safe to say Doomsday is not going to take damage from Rebirth Raven. Like, I could go take a shit for five minutes and... Doomsday would still have like half of his health. Loving that $20 donation from Ocean Juice yesterday. Appreciate you, bro. By God, he's dead! Stop the damn match! Alright, fine. This is called Hollywood Show No Fuck It Around. Because he can. Look at that. Full health, 94,530. Like, he healed more than the super move did damage. And she was literally beating on me for two minutes, and I healed all that damage up. Boy, I wasted two minutes of you guys' life. I hope you're happy. 872 XP, 1,100 credits. So the Rebirth Raven Challenge Battle 5 on standard difficulty is completed. And we will receive our first Rebirth Raven. So the card has 1,300 damage, 1,350 health. This is a 25 damage and health difference. And Jessica Cruz has 1,325 of both. So you have completed the challenge. The challenge will not reset so you can play again. Enemies will be tougher this time around. So as you guys saw from Raven's combo ender, it is a one-hit move. Not two like all the other Ravens. So... Using the Rosh Ogle Zimitar is not good on Rebirth Raven. I think they planned it like that. They want you to use Rosh Ogle Zimitar and the Gauntlets of Azura on Jessica Cruz. They want you to use, like, basic damage on Rebirth Wally West or two-piece Lexcorp and a damage gear item. And then Rebirth Raven is probably going to be the one that would have fourth world. If you're using that setup, I think that would be pretty good. You got a shitload of healing if you can control the fight. Obviously, Jessica Cruz would go down first. But that's probably how we do it. So, Rebirth Raven. Raven. We're going to throw a major XP augment on her, get her to level 5, because I don't feel like leveling up in bonus battle 6. So, Raven. Empty Void is her special too. Trigon's power flows through Raven's demonic energy strikes. The passive ability is demonic pack. Boy, that sounds familiar. On Tagging, Raven siphons her opponent's power if it is more than hers. If two Rebirth characters are in her team, in her team, in her team, that's almost as bad as AASIC attacks, like on the League of Assassins hood. Who remembers that one? She receives three times more energy per critical hit. So, obviously having augments is really good, so... For this demonstration, we're going to be using the full LexCorp set on Raven. That way we can show off the crits. That way you get crit on special one and you get crits from basic attack. So we're going to unlock these gear slots. So for Raven, Raven we're going to use the entire LexCorp set. Now, in my opinion, it seems like Fourth World is probably the way to go with Ra Raven because she is probably the tankiest card, but... You guys could probably make two-piece LexCorp and the Scarecrow mask work really well, too. Yeah, I think Doomsday is, um, outside of Arkham Origins Batman, the best card you can buy. Like, it used to be Regime Superman when he had that ridiculous heat vision, but since they nerfed it, it is definitely uh, Doomsday at number two and Arkham Origins Batman at number one. Like, Arkham Origins Batman, Batman. is the card. If you could save up for eight or ten or eleven Arkham No Arkham Pack, which really sucks. 
So I really hope they bring that back. So we're going to do some fights with Rebirth Raven. Probably got to recharge Wally West and Jessica Cruz. So we already geared up Raven. We know what works on Jessica Cruz. And if you want to see Wally West in action, be sure to check out the Raven. Uh, the previous video. So let's throw the setup on Jessica Cruz just in case. I highly doubt we're gonna need it, but you'll never know. Green it's Lantern, fourth world the on flash. Wally West. It's not the best way to gear him. Like I would not put fourth world on Wally West. I think the best use of it is definitely on Raven, if you put it on anybody. But as I said, I want to test out the, the critical flash. hits. So let's test out a couple of mechanics. Let's recharge. So in the first test fight, we have Insurgency Batman. This is not the right fight, or is it? Why are we in the second battle? Oh, let's spice it up. Let's do, let's do bonus battle five. So in the first matchup, we have Insurgency Batman, Catwoman, and Nightwing. Cards are level 33. A 17,000 health Batman does... Begin. Rebirth Raven standing. Look at the damage, though. Four thousand two hundred twenty-four from an unpromoted combo. Now, Raven does have more power, so you'd want to go like this. He did get a heal from the Lexport Gauntlet. Explosive battering is blocked. Jessica Cruz already at three bars. So here's a good example. Nightwing gets power drain, empty void by Rebirth Raven. And that's basically what you gotta do. You really don't want power generation in Rebirth Raven. Let's just get rid of Batman. Wally West is gonna pick off the scrap. So there's Catwoman and evades that one. That's for 11.90. So at one bar, we steal the power. Is that a two hit combo? I thought it was one. We see Catwoman already at one bar. If she does not use a special, we can steal her power again. I think she's not going to. Let's hit so she doesn't. Get rid of her power. And we're going to steal it right back. Pick up another empty void. So as I've said, I think the Lex Corp set might be better on Rebirth Raven than the Fourth World because you gain power. And you really don't want to gain power. You want to be able to steal the power. Is badass and yeah, you could get a lot of power drains with the fourth world mace. So definitely don't overlook that. 43,264 XP as Rebirth Raven gains two levels, Wally West gains one. Raven gains four levels, five levels, wow. Alright, 1,650 credits, so she's going to be significantly easier to use. In the second test fight, we have Challenges, Radiation, and Dampening Field again. Going up against Regime Bane, Sheik Ahmed Habibi, and Regime Flash. Cards are still level 33. Silver cards have three promotions. The gold card has one. Rebirth Raven looks so fucking sexy. That'll be the best, right? So again, you kind of want to let your opponent build up some power. Let's use a Twilight's End. Let's get out. Alright, so Bane has about a bar of power. Let's see if we can hit him. He does a raid slam, so Wally West takes a big shot there. So, she up with Habibi is at one bar. I guess let's just get off his fast action, see if we can do some damage to Bane. There's some power drains. Although, I still don't like. Oh, here's a good power drain. You can still quit, you know. Yeah, I think the last hit on power drains, too. There's the electric burst. Wally West is not gone. Now, Raven is at a bar. A problem. Almost gets eliminated. We're going to have to get off the life drain on the empty void. It is blocked. And cut the shield stuck there. We're going to heal. We can tag out. Let's see how quickly we can heal it back up. Oh, jeez. That's insane. Let's steal some power. 
We also get a stun from the Lexus So we have the empty void again, which gets blocked again. Now, you could even run two pieces of Lex Corp and give a stick at range. I think it would be pretty acceptable. That's insane. Rage Slam gets blocked. Let's steal that power. And we're going to go another empty void, and Bane gets massacred for the victory in the second test fight. So, as you can see, using a setup like that is kind of cool. Like, I, again, I do not recommend Fourth World on Rebirth Wally West. Like, there, like, you could actually use it, and that's probably, like, ultimately, Rebirth Wally West with Fourth World is not good. However... The setup with LexCorp with Rebirth Raven is not a bad one. Like, you could throw the Ibis Stick instead of the uh, LexCorp Gauntlet, so you can do more damage on Special 2, which also means you heal more on Special 2, and that's pretty vital. Let's actually do that. Let's do one more Raven. fight and show that off. So let's use the Ibis Stick instead of the LexCorp Gauntlet, because I really hate the Gauntlets. I think they're crap. So in the third and final test fight, we have Sinestro, Solomon Grundy, and Regime Superman. The red card gains a level of 34. Now, keep in mind, power generation does work against you, because the more power you generate, the harder it is to steal people's power. So keep that in mind. Is that one hit or two? I still wonder. Let's see if I can do to find out. It looks like one hit. There's the empty void. But then you get the burn damage. Summon Grenny is at one bar. He really shouldn't have done that because now he's powered like down empty. Just insane. So Superman is in, let's take his power all the way to two bars and he gets nothing. I still think that Rebirth Raven, even if you don't gear her right, the power drain by itself is a really strong mechanic. You really have to watch out for that and pay attention to your power versus Raven. I think that's the best way to deal with the card. Like, whoever you have in there, you need to be focusing on special ones. Like, for example, with Wally West, yeah, you can use special two to get your power drain on the fourth one. I really think that's a good way to actually use it because I think it's more controlling, especially with the fourth world. Uh, and you also get that up. power drain on the end of it. So, like, for example, we steal power from Solomon Grundy and then just wipe him out. So, yeah, you could probably use Fourth World on Wally West and let, like, Jessica Cruz be your basic damage dealer. And I think it would work just fine. What if I got the Beware My Power and finish the fight? So, yeah, I don't know. I think it just gives you a bigger defensive point because you can heal up with... Uh, Rebirth Raven using two piece Lex Corp, so like you can tag in and out, steal the fourth world's power, so they can't use it against you. Jessica Cruz can power drain you. I think it's a really controlling aspect. And then Wally West can power drain through special twos. So yeah, the fourth world seems stupid on Rebirth Wally West, but with the amount of hits he can do, don't underestimate that. You might be surprised on that. 43,472 XP as Rebirth Raven is level 14. Wally West is 17. 1,000. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!